G'day, I'm Al McGlashan and welcome to Club Marine TV. Now if there's one fish I'm passionate about, it's tuna. All my big tuna have been caught on the trawl. So there are several species of tuna, but the main ones for us are southern bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, albacore, and to a lesser degree, striped tuna as well. When it comes to tackle for tuna, the trend now has gone away from light tackle because it hurts too much. It's all about lures. It's all artificial, basically. One trick I can offer, and this is when you're chasing the bigger tuna, is take the trebles off. Trebles give you a lower hookup rate, they damage the fish, and they're no good when you're chasing really big tuna. If you want to catch big tuna, always run single hooks. So when it comes to trolling for tuna, it's all about the spread and the best thing to do is mix it up. So run a couple of skirts, run a couple of deep divers, a bibless lure and a plastic and mix it up. The biggest priority is running the long shotgun like right out the back. Next you've got your short and long riggers, they're the two out the side. So on your long rigger we put a skirt on that which is good up on the surface bouncing and it's in clear water. That's why we use the outriggers to get it out of the wash and into clear water where the fish can see it. Then we have the long corner, which is off the back corner, either left or right, which I normally like to set beyond the lawn rigger. The reason behind this is that we get it away from the wake, again, into cleaner water. On your short rigger, we've tried bibless lures right up close, and it sits a lot closer like you'd fish for, say, blue marlin, like up close to the boat. It works really well because the lead is out of the water. Keep changing lures around if you don't like what's working because tuna can get really fussy at times. And of course, like all trolling, keep monitoring your spread. Make sure everything's working. And if you stagger those lures, it's really important because then when you see fish blowing up or some surface action, you can turn hard and get to it. So when you're trolling and you get that hook up and you've got the rod screaming, don't stop. Keep trolling because tuna are a schooling fish and you want to turn that single hook up into a double or a triple or even a quadruple. So keep going forward and hook up as many of the rods as you can. On the water, it is critical. No sleeping. You're up on the side, you're looking. Identify the different types of birds. Gannets are a key. In New South Wales, if you see gannets out in 500 fathoms, I will literally guarantee there are yellowfin or dolphins there. Look for those physical signs like tuna splashing. That is the ultimate. Tuna are very temperature tolerant. They, they like specific temperatures. So watch that temperature gauge at all times. You know, you might go through a temperature break and as soon as it warms up just two points, bang, you'll catch tuna. And of course, finally on top of that, look at the water color. Because tuna are side hunters, plays an important role in finding tuna. So tuna are one of the most exciting fish on the troll. But one thing you need to remember is they're a finite resource and we need to look after them. So be a tuna champion, take one to eat, make sure you get it on ice and look after it and make sure you let the rest go.